My name is Eva Raquel Porras. My title is CEO for one of my companies, um, but I am a shareholder in other companies and I also hold other titles in other companies and also universities. For example, I am honorary research uh, collaborator with uh, Juan Carlos University in Spain and I am also managing director and lead researcher of smart layer technologies. So I am basically a serial entrepreneur. I've been working on a number of blockchain papers and also books uh, for a while. Unfortunately, the books get postponed because there are more urgent things and because what I want to do is, let's say, it's a, it's a bit complex. I want to, um, let's say, give an idea of what is the environment, the blockchain environment, starting with the creation of Bitcoin, you know, with the white paper. So I want to talk about what went into making the white paper, because people just read it, but they don't understand what it takes. And this is why they think anybody can write the white paper. When that's not the case at all. There is nothing casual in that, in that world. I wanted to analyze that. I wanted to see what is uh, behind that. And then I wanted to see, you know, what is the evolution in the market and in the thought, including the financial markets, to call them somehow, you know. So this is one branch of the things I'm working on. And then I'm working on other things like robotics. So for example, the use of blockchain technology to gain degrees of freedom, which are necessary to make robots smarter. You know, so this is one other paper I'm working in currently, for example. The biggest pain points in the blockchain industry are, let's say, uh, multifaceted. On the one hand, we have development, technology development that is necessary to achieve this and that, and uh, it goes at its own rate. Unfortunately, um, it's not really matching the progress in the industry. Say, for example, the usage by businesses of blockchain technology is not leading the changes or is not leading the development. It's uh, the other way around. It's people who are already in blockchain technology who are creating all of these uses. So in a way, it's a pity because it would be better funded if it were the businesses that were demanding uh, these developments, you know? So, so I think this is one. I think this causes a delay. You know, we, we've been at this more than 10 years, you know? And it causes a delay and the, and the sector is not well funded. You know, small entrepreneurs don't have the capacity to, to really um, stay in business. So I think this is a big problem. The other big problem is lack of information and misuse of information and misrepresentation of reality, whether it has to do with the capacity of certain technologies or whether it has to do with the um, intention of the people who make companies to extract resources out of individuals who just want to participate in an industry that they don't understand. These are things that are pending. And obviously one other area is governments taking responsibility once and for all, at least for all of these uh, exchange markets that are just uh, not safe, not transparent, uh, not liquid, and so on. So I think these are you know, a few issues. I think the biggest opportunity for developers is to follow the, the needs of the various sectors uh, that are existing. So you can specialize, say, for example, in tracing of processes, tracing of documentation. You can specialize on know your customer in identity. You can specialize in uh, health industry, you know, because there is a lot to do in every one of these sectors and it doesn't really translate uh, easily you know so just the fact that we are talking about tracing is not the same tracing a person tracing a process tracing paperwork or tracing uh, fish so i think a specialization is a very big opportunity um, because of the um, the scales that will come you know legacy technology will have to give in little by little but it will have to give in and then the scaling of what we are doing is going to be massive. We personally at Smart Layer have a number of products that have already been created by spotting needs in, in society. So one of the needs is obviously uh, protection against cyber attacks. We have one product for that, it's called Sentinel Node. 30 has, it's like the generic name of a number of solutions, but the first one is Sentinel Node. And what this product does, it detects any intrusion in your systems, in, in your company systems or into your computer and so on. What we do is we scan the system every 10 seconds. And the moment there is an alert, those who have been, let's say, portrayed in the system as responsible get notified. I think BSB has a lot of potential 
basically in many things, but especially in those that require high volume. So in those aspects where you have many transactions, thousands of transactions, I think this is where BSB has the highest potential. So whether this is replacing things like uh, visas or, you know, credit cards or payment mechanisms, or whether this is about certifying events that, that need to be watched over carefully, you know, or um, as a part of other technologies, you know, for example, we are working with drone technology, so you can put blockchain with drone technology, you know, to, to ensure aspects of what you are observing get recorded, for example, you know. But I think particularly in BSB is uh, obviously smart contracts, uh, this goes without saying, you know, and, um, and then everything that is high volume, it's a, it's a particular area of interest and opportunity.